Hey, good morning. Um, it's Saturday morning, um, a few minutes before 10. I'm about to um, cut out and um, go to a um, professionals meeting. And um, I, it just dawned on me that um, I should get on just for a few minutes before I, I leave out and pose the question, who are you surrounding yourself with? Um, like if you're trying to make improvements in your life or um, in your health and fitness or just whatever it is that you're trying to do, like you should surround yourself with supportive people. And um, what I mean by that is, you know, if you're trying to diet for weight loss, is your partner supportive? Are your kids supportive? Is your mom and dad supportive? Um, do they, knowing that you're on a diet and you are going to dinner somewhere, do they opt to go for, you know, pizza and french fries when you could go somewhere and get protein and vegetables? Um, you know, do they do things like that? Not necessarily to sabotage you, but just mostly unintentionally, I think, to um, satisfy their own needs and their own wants, but without regard for what it is that you're trying to do. And so, um, you know, a lot of times we, hey Charles, a lot of times we just kind of go with the flow and follow the herd rather than saying, no, this is what I'm trying to do and I'd really rather if we could go in this direction instead. And so it's a simple suggestion like, you know, I'm like really short on calories right now. I'd really rather go somewhere where I could have a lean protein and some vegetables because that would fit better with what I'm trying to do. But I would love to have pizza with you on another night. And um, a lot of times I think we're afraid to make suggestions like that. Um, because we don't want the pushback or sometimes we're just emotionally exhausted that it's hard to kind of fight that battle for lack of a better word um, and you know it's challenging for us and we feel like that um, we shouldn't have to ask other people to make changes to accommodate what it is that we're trying to do but you know, at the end of the day, if we're not willing to step outside of the box and sort of be the leader in what it is that we're trying to do, then, um, you know, things won't change. And that's always going to be an excuse for you. And you're going to keep continuing to do that. And you're never going to ever set a boundary that's going to allow you to get the things that you want to do and get the results that you want um, with all of your efforts. And you're going to give up. Like at the end of the day, you're going to give up because you're um, sort of, fighting against the current, I suppose. So, you know, be willing to step outside of the box and be willing to tell people, you know, hey, I've got to go on this 10 minute walk, walk after dinner. Or, you know, even if you're on a date, you can say, hey, I usually do like a 10 minute walk after dinner. Is it okay if we just walk around for a few minutes? And it it's inclusive. So it gets, it helps get people on board with what you're doing and your lifestyle changes. And it sets an example for them and like, in the state of Alabama, like we are very unhealthy and we're overweight and we need to do things so that we can be an example for other people and they can see what we're doing, see how happy it makes us, see the results that we're getting. And then they're going to be more willing to do those kinds of things. And they're going to say, Hey, you know what, what he or she is doing is really working for them. And so I think I'm going to start taking a 10 minute walk after dinner too. And so then it filters down into their spouses and their children and their families and their moms and their dads. And so it becomes this sort of domino effect, but in a very positive way. And so, you know, surround yourself with people that are going to be supportive of you and what you're doing, whether it's workout partners or coaches or, um, you know, just a friend from your kid's school that, um, you know, you know that she's active in her life. And so just try to forge a relationship so that you can get in on what that person is doing um, and they can get in on what you're doing. And so, um, you know, surround yourself with people who are doing the things that you need to do and you want to do to get the result that you're after. And if you do that, it's just going to, um, it's just going to sort of put fuel on the fire, I guess is how I would say it. Um, but it's going to help you. It's going to help you feel motivated. It's going to help you want to get out and do things. And, you know, I heard someone say this week that we all need to do some things, right? We all needed, there are certain things we all need to do. But you're never going to do those things unless you actually want to. And that's the thing. You have to want it and you have to want to do it. Um, otherwise, it's just not going to happen. So surrounding yourself with supportive people, um, being the, the example for um, people who are not so supportive of what, what it is that you're trying to do um, is, is a great way to do that. But you, you do want to 
invite people to come in on you with you on your journey like invite people to come in be inclusive with what you're doing lead by example um, and set the tone you know set the tone for what you're trying to do draw lines in the sand about what you will and will not do you know if if you're low on calories and you can't have pizza tonight, then say that like, Hey, let's have something else because pizza's not going to work for me. And that's it. Um, it's kind of an easy out for me because I have a gluten allergy, but, um, it's really simple, um, to just make a statement and stand for what you're doing. And so surround yourself with supportive people, find some people to get around, um, their meetup groups or church groups or all kinds of ways to find people that are doing the same thing that you're doing. So, um, I hope that resonates with you. Um, if you're watching this live, give me hashtag live in the comments. If you're, um, watching a replay, give me a hashtag replay and um, find some people that are going to support your journey and help you do the things that you're trying to do. Um, if you need me to do that with my team, we're here for you. We can totally do that. Just send me a private message and we would love to be on your team. Have a good day. Good Saturday. Talk soon.